Today we are going to learn how to create a Google site within our Google domain using a template that has already been created for you for your autobiography scrapbooks. So the first thing you need to do is open the Safari web browser and go to the school homepage and then you need to select the MFL Marmac Google domain link. You will need to sign in with your username and password. Now once you sign in you should see your mailbox as normal but today we are going to work in the sites part of the domain which is up here in the top so choose the sites link here from the top black toolbar And now when yours opens, it will be blank since you have not created any websites yet. So you need to browse for the template that I have created for you. So over here on the left hand side, choose Browse Sites. And it is categorized underneath Students. So you need to look in the Student file. Now if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will find a website template labeled 6th grade scrapbooks. You should go ahead and select that. And what will appear here on your screen will be a template with pages and labels already created. So each of you needs to make this your own now. So before you can make any edits or changes, you need to save the template as your own website. So up here in the top blue toolbar, choose Use This Template. And there are a few things for you to fill out here on the next page. The sixth scrapbook has already been selected here as the template. Leave that alone. Where it says name your site, you are going to put in your first name, last name, scrapbook. That will become the title of your website. So make sure you have spaces between each word. The site location has already been established for you, so do nothing here. You can select a theme by choosing the link here, select a theme, and go ahead and browse through the different color schemes and formats they have until you find one that appeals to you. And now this will be the main body of your web page. So I'm just going to choose this blue and green one. And after choosing that, you may scroll down and choose this final link down here, More Options. And we need to categorize our site. It will be the same category as the template was, so just type in students and that will be the location of your new website. And everyone's site description will be 6th grade scrapbook. And then you're done here, so you can go ahead and select create. It's going to take a couple moments here to bring up your website with your chosen format and color. Now when it opens you should see your first and last name here, scrapbook. This will be the title of your site. And if you scroll down here and look on the left hand side in the sidebar, it will list all of the different pages that will be part of your website. Now if you'll notice the bold headings are the different categories of stories that we wrote each week. And within each category are those individual stories that you wrote and now will upload to your website. If you scroll up the top here, there are a few important things to take note of. This little tool here that looks like a pencil is the edit button. Before you can make any changes to any of these pages on the left, you have to hit the edit button. Okay, that will allow you to make changes. You should not need to use this page here, because, or this button rather, because it will create a new page and all of your pages are already created. Over here underneath More, you may see several different things to choose from, so this would be the other place that you would, would go to if you need to make any changes to your website. But there you have it. This is how you use and create a website from a template that has already been established.